Hi, in this video you'll learn how a property of moment generating functions can be used to determine the probability distribution of a sum of independent random variables. In particular, we're going to show in this example that the sum of independent Poisson random variables is in fact a Poisson random variable itself. So let's look at this particular example. Suppose that x1 and x2 are two independent Poisson random variables, where that independent is a very uh, important word in this example. The Poisson random variables have parameters lambda 1 and lambda 2. So we want to determine the probability distribution of y, which is the sum of x1 and x2. And again, these two random variables are independent. So in order to even start this problem, we need to know the moment generating function of a Poisson random variable with parameter lambda. So the moment generating function of a Poisson is e to the lambda, and up in the exponent is e to the t minus 1 next to that lambda. So this is a moment generating function of a Poisson random variable with parameter lambda. Okay, the next thing we're given in this problem is y is the linear combination of x1 and x2. And very importantly, um, x1 and x2 are independent. Okay, so given that x1 and x2 are independent, there's actually a property of moment generating functions that says this. Uh, the moment generating function of y is just then the product of the moment generating functions of x1 and x2. And I'm only allowed to do this because x1 and x2 are independent. If they weren't, uh, this property here would not hold. And so uh, let's go ahead then and find the moment generating function of y for this given example with x1 and x2 as Poisson random variables. So uh, the moment generating function of x1 is e to the negative lambda 1, or e to the lambda 1 times e to the t minus 1 times e to the lambda 2, e to the t minus 1. And so here we can just multiply uh, those two together and get e to the lambda 1 plus lambda 2 times e to the t minus 1. So if we just stare at this guy for a minute, let me box him up here. Um, you might just say, whoa, that's, that's just the moment generating function uh, of a Poisson, and given right here is the parameter of that Poisson. And in fact, you're correct. I mean, here is the form that a Poisson random variable takes for its moment generating function is e to the lambda, where lambda is parameter, e to the t minus 1, and we've ended up with something of the same form. So in fact, what we've discovered now is that y itself is a Poisson random variable. And besides that, we know what the parameter of y is. The parameter is just lambda 1 plus lambda 2. So I think uh, we've just shown a very important property in uh, probability theory. Um, we've just shown that the sum of two independent Poisson random variables has a Poisson distribution. And in fact, um, even if we add you know, n independent Poisson random variables, then y is still a Poisson random variables where you're just adding the parameters uh, lambda 1 plus lambda 2 all the way up to lambda n. So um, we showed a couple nice things in this video, I believe. First of all, the moment generating function of Poisson random variable is given here. And um, if y is the linear combination of independent random variables, then the moment generating function of y is just the product of its moment generating functions. And in doing so, uh, we were able to multiply uh, the moment generating functions, the two Poisson random variables, to then get uh, a moment generating function, again, of a Poisson. And in doing so, we determined then that the random variable y is Poisson itself with parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2. So this is very nice. Um, anytime you have the sum of independent random variables, um, you can use this property of moment generating functions. And in doing so, sometimes you can discover um, some distributions of y that you might have not been able to discover without using this property of moment generating functions. 
So I've, I hope that you see then the, the great worth of this property and that you're able to use it on other problems in the future um, to determine distributions of Y that you might not see um, without using this property.